up, what up, that's number his four, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. yes. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, hey, if you're having a rough day, let's turn around right now with some good energy and some good content, all right? All right. My lovely wife, what do we have today? All right, babe, today what we'll be this? reacting to Lucifer's first exclusive TV interview. Whoa, Nelly. All right, this just popped up on our news feed. Uh, I think God is trying to tell us something. Right, let's get into it. All right, here we go. Good energy, good content. Here we go. Interview with Lucifer. Wow. Here we go. Lucifer in the flesh. Do you know how many journalists would kill? Wait, you probably do. Uh, first, I want to say thank you to agreeing to this interview because I know you are a very, very busy person. Yes. I usually like to fly under the radar. Oh. But I figured. Since I'm already on the campaign trail, why not? Okay. First, let's talk about your reign. Now, you've had a fairly long one. What would you attribute to your success and popularity? Oh, that's easy. Every generation is the same. I appeal to their lust and ego. I offer all the sex, wealth, and fame a person could want. Do as thou wilt has been my campaign slogan from the start. And my campaign platform hasn't changed either. I run on the same three issues every generation. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life. Okay. Wow. Okay. When you say lust of the flesh, what exactly do you mean? Come on now. What do I mean? Isn't it obvious? I just use humans' own innate physical desires against them. And since sexual desire seems to be the most powerful, I usually run with that. Now, I didn't create... Wow. This is so creepy because this is what's going on right now today in the world. This is scary. This is how he tricks us, you know, in certain ways and get people to just be demonized, you wow. know. Wow. And, and, and wow, this is this, how he this is so, how he uses our desires. Yes, to get sexual us. pleasures and, and, and lust and stuff like wow. that. With the eyes, with flesh. That's that's it's, it's scary. Here, here we go, guys. Here we go. Sex, but I must say I've done a superb job at perverting it. Take pornography, for example. Well, you should know a lot about this one, Ivan. Weren't you addicted to porn? <clears throat> um. This interview is about you, uh, not about me. Can we get back on subject? <clears throat> <clears throat> now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Wow. What I do is gradually get someone addicted to porn. And once Lust has had his full work and he and she can no longer restrain themselves, they usually look to act out their fantasies on someone. And sometimes that someone is a child. Now, if my plan plays out perfectly. That abused child will eventually turn to a life of promiscuity and perversion themselves, allowing me to continue my vicious cycle. And here's the kicker. Many of those abused girls end up right in the porn industry. Now, how's that for irony? Mm. The second that? thing you had mentioned, wow. I believe, you said lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes. Can you elaborate? Humans are never satisfied. You always crave more. Bigger house, bigger car, more money, more power. The list goes on and on. I just take their natural ambitious desire, pervert it, and use it against them for their own destruction. My plan is to allow them to never be content. As long as I can keep them craving what others have, I can depend on them to argue, fight, even kill to get it. Humans are so easily tricked into jealousy. And you know what they say. Jealousy is as cruel as the grave. Yes, I have heard that before. Let's, let's just stop right there for a minute. Because the devil wants to, you know, kill, steal, and destroy. That's his main thing. That's what he want to do. This is giving me the creeps. I mean... And for him to be kicked out of heaven, you know, his only mission was to kill... Steal and destroy 
on God's him. God's people, yes. You know, you know, he hates humans. The devil, Lucifer, hates humans. He wanted to see. He us. was he jealous to, of humans. Us and their relationship with God. So yeah. this is why he he wants to take our soul. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And his voice is just so. Ah. This you know, is, it was like. This is giving me so like. look at this. The creeps, because oh, it's like. Man. Is the spirit of Lucifer, and he's letting us know. I mean, this guy, he's calm because he he doesn't have to shout or be angry. It's yes. easy for him now. It's and, like, come on, turn against God. Just, this is easy for him to tell us, you know, what he's doing, and if you know, to still be able to work. Yep, you'll never That's crazy. you'll never be content, humans. You'll never always be satisfied more. and grateful for what God has given you. Greed. You're always gonna crave what the next person having. You'll do anything to get it, even jealousy. kill. When you say jealousy, that's one of the you know commandments of God. Ten commandments. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Wow. The last thing you had mentioned was, I believe, pride of life. Now, how does this fit into your campaign platform? Humans are always on a quest for knowledge. I check the first humans to seek carnal knowledge over godly wisdom, and it's worked like a charm every generation since. With more knowledge comes more pride, and you know pride is my specialty. And since humans don't like to keep God in their wisdom, I'm able to seduce them with all types of things to help puff up their ego. Lately, fame has been my biggest seller. Who doesn't like attention and feeling more important than the next person? Once I make them famous, I can really use them to promote my agenda. Oh. With their help, I've convinced half of the world to not only accept sin, but to celebrate it. What? Do you know what has been my most enjoyable pride campaign to date? No, what? Well, my gay pride campaign, of course. Not only do I get the chance to promote your own self-destruction, I get to use God's logo, the rainbow, to do it. Love is love, right? <laughs> My plan not only prevents you worthless humans from reproducing, it distorts the gender roles and allows me to bring all types of chaos and confusion upon your pathetic societies. Oh, this has been so successful, I've got men convinced they're women, and women convince they're men, and some convinced they're no gender at all. I don't know if I can continue listening to this interview oh. because this is what I see and I'm not judging anyone, but this is what I see. You can turn the television on, you're going to see. This is scary. We can walk out our front door and we can see these things Some people happening. refer to themselves in a third party and, and say they use the rainbow. And them. Oh, Lord. Not a symbol. To do it. You know, I, that's why I say, you know, and we are searching for the truth. Like, we like we really want to know. You know, we're thirsty. We want to know what's going on out here. And, <laughs> wow. And I've got two more Pride Initiative campaigns I'd like to introduce in the near future. Hmm. Really? I'm guessing you probably want me to ask you what they are, right? Well, first, it's abortion pride. Now, I think we can pull this off. Society is definitely ready for it. I've enlisted to help a Planned Parenthood to work with marketing and promotions. And all we'll have to do is silence the so-called abolitionists and pro-lifers, because the rest of the church doesn't seem to care. And second is pedophilia pride. Now, society might not be ready for this one just yet, so we'll hold off. I need to desensitize them a little more before we introduce it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's change gears for a minute and talk about policy. Some may oh consider your God. policies destructive, dangerous even. Uh, what would be your response to that? What would you say to your detractors? All of my policies are aimed to do one of three things. Either steal, kill, or destroy. And if it's not doing one or all three of those things, then it's not in my agenda, and I'm not promoting it. Okay, okay. I'm happy you said that. It seems as if you promote your agenda differently to different, to different ethnicities. Uh, if so, why? 
Of course, I'd be a fool not to. Take black people, for instance. As a people, they're super spiritual. So I can't really convince them that there is no God. What I have been able to do as of late is convince them that he's not the God of the Bible. Now, I've been real successful at promoting black consciousness and Islam in their communities. I'm so happy you mentioned black people. It seems as if we've been at the very top of your agenda for quite some time. Why is that? A few reasons. Black people helped me reach the masses. Now, as you know, I was over music in heaven. My beats were so dope, I got over a third of the angels to follow me. And once I got here to the earth, I needed artists and entertainers to help me promote my message here. Who better than black people? Black people possess all the natural rhythm and music ability that I need. And it's easy for me to influence them with money since so many of them grew up without it. Another reason I target black people is because they're strong mentally and physically. If black men were to ever find their identity in Christ, I'd be in trouble. So I try my best to destroy the black family structure and keep black men away from his family and the church. destruction I, I really think that this is our warning for the world and for anyone that's watching you know this stuff is real and um, I think these are the last days I think scary. God is coming back for his people this is so scary this is this is this is just we are in so much trouble as humans as the human race yes we are in deep, deep trouble. And the devil was walking the earth with his demons. Here we go, guys. Wow. Drugs and incarceration are a couple of my more popular means. Without the head of the household present, I can become the head and influence the children without too much resistance. So you mean to tell me that your policies are intentionally racist against black people? Racist? <laughs> this has got to be the best law I've ever come up with. Now, I can't believe that humans still believe they are different races. But to answer your question, yes. It has always been my policy to target and isolate a group of people. And out of all my strategies, <laughs> this skin color thing has worked the best. I definitely want to keep white people and black people separated. As long as I can keep black people bitter and white people offended, I'm good. Hopefully black people will never forgive. That way I can continue to use them. Okay, what, my question is, what role, if any, does your administration play in this black on black crime epidemic? <laughs> well, as great as my administration is, we can't take all the credit for this. Black people help us tremendously. By aborting so many of their babies, they allow us to bring death to their communities. As the Bible says, they sow the wind and they reap a whirlwind. Mm. When implementing all of these policies, do you ever face any resistance or pushback? And if so, from who? One group in particular try to oppose every policy I try to implement. I would be so much further along in my agenda if it wasn't for them. Really? So what group is that? Those pesky, born again, Jesus followers. They're a real thorn in my side. Every generation they come together and try to dismantle one of my signature policies. Now I've convinced half of the world that Jesus didn't exist and the other half that he wasn't divine. But I can't seem to convince them. They seem hell bent on telling everybody about him and spreading his message. Some of me believe he's coming to unseat me in this generation. <laughs> Crazy, huh? I'll tell you, those idiots are really messing with my legacy. So, Lucifer, how does that make you feel when uh, us idiots say that Jesus possibly could be coming back in this generation to unseat you? 
And y'all been saying that for centuries. I just use it as motivation to get as much of our agenda pushed through and deceive as many people as possible before he returns. I think I've done pretty well. My record speaks for itself. About 150,000 people die each day, and most of them don't know Jesus. 150,000 people. Whew. Well, you know what? This concludes our interview. Uh, I want to say thank you for an open, honest, pretty frank discussion with me. Uh, is there any last words you would like to leave with our viewing audience? Yes. I'd like to take this moment and give a special thank you to two groups of people. First, I want to say thank you to all my followers. You are the hands and feet of my administration and we could do nothing without you. Keep up the good work, spread my message. And second, I'd like to say thank you to the divided church. I love the way you argue and use your passions to fight amongst each other. Keep up the good work. There's really no rush to tell people about Jesus. You all have plenty of time. let us know the agenda and what's going on in the world and why we're so lost because we have denounced our God. We have, we don't follow his commandments. We do everything that the devil is a trap basically. And at the end he said, you all have time. Like, like he's laughing, like the devil is laughing at us. Like we think we have all the time in the world to find God and to live the way God wants us to live as his children and it's like we don't our generations are being slaughtered mentally physically emotionally you know this video really gave me confirmation that it's good and it's evil and that the devil will be defeated but until then, he's working to try to manipulate us and to get us to join him, to yeah. work for him, to serve him. And, you know, we have seen things out here in this world. Yeah. So we know that it's real. Yeah. But we have also seen God's work. You yeah. know. Yeah. Um. And we all know that God is going to return. Amen. That's why we got to believe in him 100%. You know, just have faith in him. But this whole devil thing, man, um, the way he worked through music, you know. He said his beats were so dope. Was so dope. He, yeah. You know, and I. It's scary. It's like. I just saw everything that happened. It was <sighs> like God was revealing it. Yes. All through this message. Yes. And like when we ride, like we can't really listen to the radio. We we would have to turn it off because it would something would come on to disturb our whole day. Like, oh my god, I can't believe they plan it on the radio. Yeah. You know, so especially with our he's children listening and you know what I'm uh, saying? It, it's it's this is crazy. And he's preparing the world for pedophiles. For pedophiles. Pe pedophile pride. What? Goodness gracious. And he this has is these an agenda. people working for him. You know, and it's like, wow, who's who? Right. You know? Yeah. And it's, and it's, and it's scary, but... <sighs> I think God truly led us to this video, and, you know, it probably won't get a lot of views because it's speaking of... God and 
and it's telling us the agenda of the devil yep. and what he wants us to do, turning away from our God. Yes. And he's letting us know, like, right in our face, you know, so it's no excuses. Like, look at how he said Jesus. He, it was like it was a disgusting name to yeah. him. And that is how the devil wants us to feel about Jesus. He wants us to hate Jesus. But we know God is real and God has come back for us. And, and he wants us to hate each other. Yep. He wants us to think he that one be group divided. is better than the other group. He that we're his, not all his children. The skin color thing. Mm -hmm. You know, he want to come in all shapes and sizes and forms. He's coming. You know, he's he's trying to invade our our. Our families, our happiness, you want to split us our up. love, and our peace. You want to go after our marriages, God. after our precious, you know, babies, yeah. our children. Yeah. It's sad. It's sad, but we gotta know. We gotta know. As humans, we gotta know the truth. Wow. We gotta know as God's people. Amen. We have to know. Guys, go ahead and smash that like button, give this video a big fat thumbs up, and also get inside the comment section. We would love to know what you guys think. Yes. We would definitely love to know. You know what you guys think. Wow. It's sad. It's, it's just sad. That's our time, guys. And we are signing off until next time, everyone. Please have a blessed day. Hey, it's your boy Sean. And hey, your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Love. Bam. All right, guys. Bye. Have a blessed day on purpose. God bless us all. Peace. Peace.